Hello guys, so I was uh, showing you to, uh, to a friend uh, a little uh, workflow with Speedflow. This is a uh, uh, true bevelception. <laughs> this is really funny, in fact. Uh, I will show you this. Uh, it's not a tutorial. I will just be uh, be as fast as possible. Uh, you can create some bevel like that. You can add some subdivisions. Okay. You can come back here and add some other bevel. Okay. You can add a solidify. You can add another bevel with shift double w if you want. That will give you this kind of result. Okay. So uh, you can of course ma even make something. Uh, I will select the last one uh, like that, like that. Shift w. So right now we have uh, four bevels. Okay. I will add some subdivisions. Um, I will add a cylinder or maybe uh, more something like that. I want something editable. I like the uh, full editable. So I will do this. And this one, I can add a bevel. Of course, something like that. Shift W. Like that. I will do this. I will select this and this. I will make a boolean in S. And I will just move it here. So now I will just select this one. I will press Shift W. And like that, as you can see, if I add some subdivisions, I created, uh, I will just do this, and maybe hide this one. I don't need it anymore. I created this object with uh, a lot of bevels, as you can see. So let's continue to make something different. So I will create a cube. I will move it here. I will, uh, why not select this and this and add a bevel. I will just to pre prepare it to uh, support my uh, what I will do is that I will add some uh, bevel in vertex. So you need to prepare it like that. So up, I will I will just make my bevel, press K, and right now as you can see I have this result. Okay, I will uh, keep it like that. So this this is okay for me. I will make a rotation like that. And I will just place it up here and I will move it here. And like uh, previously on the uh, this one, uh, I will select this, make a boolean, press S. And as you can see, I have this result. Okay, but this, this is not what I want. I want this result. So I will just select, uh, maybe I should uh, hide this one. I will add an, an option to auto hide uh, the uh, booleans once uh, we are applied. So uh, on this one, I will call the bevel. I will press Shift W. And as you can see now, I created another new bevel like that. And the result is that. And like that, you can create and uh, combine object uh, like that with custom bevels. I have one, two, three, four, five, six bevel modifiers. <laughs> uh, solidify a cube. I can, uh, why not uh, add, uh, let's try something crazy. I will just move this one. S shift Z. I will move it like that. Okay. So I will select control shift Q, control alt. And that's it. I created this. So pretty easy. I can, of course, edit it like that. I can, uh, of course, if I want, select this one, move it to have something more like that. So that really depends on what you want to do. And uh, you can, in fact, edit absolutely everything on this. I can continue. I can add, uh, why not, uh, the object is really, uh, is ugly, hein, but uh, this is just for the sake of the video to show you this possibility. I will make something like that, okay. I will select this and this and I will add a bevel because I like bevels, okay. And on this one, I will just make this and I will add a boolean. I will have this result, but I want a new bevel on top of this one. So I will have this and on this one, I will add the bevel and I will add shift W, another bevel, bevelceptions. And I will have this kind of result. And there is some issues to fix. Uh, yes, on this one, I don't really like this one. I will remove this one, but uh, maybe this, uh, the first bevel is really too big. So uh, this one, this is uh, ta -ta -ta, uh, four, three, two, one. Uh, this is normally this one. 
let's try uh, ta -ta. one let's try s no it's not this one so let's try yes this is this one and i can edit it and uh, yes in fact no it's not it's not even this this is the boolean on this one I will select this one, I will move the boolean, I will just select the boolean and I will move it. And I'll... Yep. Let's try something. Oh, it's funny. <laughs> yep. And I will move it like that. Okay. Same here. So boolean. And I will move it like that. But since I added a new bevel here, I need to add it to this one too. So I will come here. I will press Shift W and I will have my new boolean. But as you can see, I break this one, but it was just a, it was just a test. It was just to show you. So I will make the same here and I will have this. Up, 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 up. I will hide this one, H. And as you can see, like that, uh, I will try to uh, fix this one. So bevel uh, angle. Known angle zero zero one uh, three. Let's try. This is the three. Yes, that should be this one. And that's it. This is fixed. I will remove the uh, wire after the boolean. So, like that, as you can see, I can create uh, an object H with a lot of bevels, <laughs> as you can see. This is the full bevel section. And the, uh, the interesting thing is that everything is fully editable. And you can continue like that, uh, add some other object. Uh, even uh, if I select this one, since it's a screw, I can edit it, add some subdivisions. If I need to add some subdivisions, I will just, uh, yes, like that. I will see the, the result or click here. I can uh, maybe edit even the bevel. I can edit this one if I want it slower. I can edit the object in cell itself. Press G. Press E. Uh, G. E. And I will put it to align to the grid. And that's it. I will press H. And that's it. So as you can see, with speed flow like that you can add a lot of um, of uh, operation lot of modifiers and deal with all the modifiers uh, directly uh, really easily uh, and give and create some uh, m much better uh, <laughs> because this one is really ugly but um, you can see the the power of this uh, of this workflow everything is editable if i want to uh, change the uh, the roundness here, I just have to call the boolean, this one, I, I just have to come here, select the part I want to edit, and I will just do this, and that's it. And I come here, I press H, uh, not G, but H, and that's it, this is fixed. Pretty fun, pretty, uh, pretty nice. <laughs> uh, Bevelception.